Hey party people, welcome back to my channel, it's Patricia. So this week for us is spring break. I have absolutely no plans at all. I've just been sitting around the house like a lazy couch potato. And I finally finished up going through my bricks. So I was like, you know what? We're just gonna do a nice kind of long video today. We're gonna go over all the housekeeping. We're gonna go over bricks, Mother's Day. Um, I'm going to share a new discovery, which I'm sure is not new to y'all. Your girl just been living under about 10,000 rocks. And yeah, so let's get started. So number one, the clearance section has all kinds of new goodies in it. So this started on the first and um, it says, do you or your customers have an eye on something in the clearance section? Better act now because on April 1st, we will be removing all products from clearance and replacing them with newly added items to refresh this section. As always, clearance products are available only while supplies last and the discounts are up to 60% off. So let me go ahead and show you right now what is happening in clearance. So they have a special Scentsy Bar 9 pack um, which has predetermined items in it along with the um, scent circle. So we've got a lot of things on sale right now. So if it's something you've been kind of sitting on and, you know, just kind of hemming and hawing and you know how we do, this would be a good time to check it out. So go ahead and come to my clearance section and see what items Tickle your fancy. And let me pull up the rest of this to show you guys. They got a lot of stuff in here. So I took a peek. I was about to pull the um plug on that um, candy crate. The only reason why I didn't was because it was a bath and body work sale. So I participated in that instead. And that's just because my family needs some stuff too. And it's some stuff over there that... I've had my eyeball on a video will be coming up on that shortly, but that's really the only reason why I didn't pull the trigger because it was pretty much that and like maybe one other thing and that was it. So I was like, you know what, let me just go and get what I've been eyeballing for longer and keep it pushing because there were a lot of new items uh, that Bath and Body Works had that I did not have a chance to sample yet. You guys know I love a masculine fragrance, so a lot of it will be masculine items. Like I said, a video is coming, but I just wanted to explain why I did not pull the trigger on anything in clearance. So that is all the things in clearance. And also, as you guys already know by now, um, the Whiff Box is now a Wolf Box. These are insanely popular, and that is the reason why Scentsy brought it back again. So these are the items that will be in the Wolf Box. Um, I did not get this box because I have a cat. And you can use some of these items on, you know, different pets. It doesn't just have to be a dog, but you guys know how cats are. They, they are real funky about stuff going on them. So I'm like, why am I going to get this box when I might get scratched to death by my cat even trying to use it? That's just me. But um, they are insanely popular and you're getting a lot for $30. You are getting the Black Raspberry Vanilla shampoo you're getting the black raspberry vanilla freshen up pup um deodorizing dog spray you're getting the black raspberry vanilla um detangling spray a honey and chamomile pet shampoo packet that was that little packet and a scentsy tennis ball this box is insane so if you have not participated in getting it it is the same price as the regular whip box 30 bucks Check that out. People love it. And it makes a fantastic gift. Next up, Scentsy is still encouraging people to come on aboard and join Scentsy and be your own consultant. So new consultants can get $300 worth of products for free. And it says join Scentsy in, a in April and earn a shooting star enhancement kit for free. 
So this is going until the end of the month. And it says we're bringing back one of our favorite promotions to help encourage Cincy fans to join our team and help you earn your incentive. So it says that if you, um, new consultants who start their Cincy business between April 1st and 30th and earn 500 points in PRV, which is personal retail volume, in their first 15 days will not only receive the Shooting Star Award, but also the Shooting Star Enhancement Kit for free, which is a $300 value. So it includes several of the top selling products to help boost your new business. And yeah, so that's it. Um, so if you want to join Scentsy and you know a whole bunch of people that love Scentsy and you think they would buy from you or you have relatives that love Scentsy or you just had your eye on a bunch of items and you think you can spend $500 worth of that volume yourself, then this is the opportunity for you. Okay, so now let's get to our post-warm review of all the things I seriously cannot remember. I don't think I talked about the Epcot and Mother's Day um, items. I don't think I did. If I did, y'all gonna get a recap, but I don't think I did. So let's get into it. So um, for Epcot, that is these three right here. I think I had told you guys, you know, spoiler alert, they were like kicking butt. So I did this one first because this was the one that you guys know I'm not the biggest Mint fan. So I just went ahead, got that out the way first, had it going in the family room. This Joker lasted three, not one, not two, but three days. So it just did not want to die. So if you love Mint, this is it. It is a beast mode performer. I could smell this all the way in our dining room. Now we have a family room. You go up a couple of steps to get to the kitchen and it's an open concept. So the kitchen just flows right into the dining room. Could smell this in the dining room. Absolutely amazing. Next one is, um, I have these all written down together, lumped in with Mother's Day. Um, the next one is Heirloom Rose. Had this one going in the family room as well. Once again, the family room is the largest room in our house. Um, it was also a powerhouse on day two, and I could still smell this one on day three. So if you love Rose, this was a kick-A Rose scent. It was absolutely amazing. And the last one is Soft Plumeria. Now, this one was not quite as loud. And this was the one that I was just really had all my hopes and dreams built into. So this one was a little dis a bit of a disappointment. I could still smell it slightly on day two, but just um, doing the other two first and just knowing, okay, this one is going to be the same way and it wasn't. Um, it was in the family room, not quite as loud as the others, but could still smell it slightly on day two. Next up, we have Mother's Day. So these were the two Mother's Day fragrances. I adored both of these on cold, but on warm. Let me know your reaction, guys. Did you feel the same way as me? So Wildflower Cotton was the first one that we did. Um, I had this going in the bedroom. Now, I could smell this on day two, but it was soft. I was really, really hoping that these were going to blow me out of the house, especially after doing um, these Epcots, because I did Mother's Day right behind um, finishing up the Epcot fragrances. So just knowing that, you know, Epcot was like blowing me down the cul-de-sac, I was like, okay, come on, Mother's Day. But this was light on day two. And then also we have the Blue Coconut Beach. Um, I think the the Wildflower Cotton was my favorite of, yeah, this was my favorite out of the two. That's the one I did first. Like I said, it was light. And then we went in with Blue Coconut Beach. 
had this one going in the bedroom as well. Gave me the exact same reaction. I could smell it on day two, but it was light. So if you're somebody that doesn't care about day two performance, then these will be great for you. You guys know I love a strong fragrance. I needed to blow my weed back and it just, for me, it was just kind of like, eh. Okay, next up, we are moving on to the bricks. Um, I grabbed like the wrong brick, so I thought I'd just share it anyway. The Walt Disney World iridescent brick. I thought I would show you my, um, how I've been doing with it. It is almost gone. So I had this scent in my club and then I took it out because I was like, okay, I got a brick. I'll have it forever. Meanwhile. So since I brought it by accident, I was like, well, I might as well just share. Because sharing is caring, right? So let's get to the bricks. So we have the first one I did was the one that I told you guys. I was just like, oh, it's going to be my least favorite. I love this on cold. On warm, it was, it was okay. You know, it smelled the same. It wasn't like it smelled any different. But the performance just was kind of like, eh, you know, and... Um, it was very light, but I could still smell it when entering a room on day three. So, not exactly a powerhouse slap you in the face, you know. I said my name is Cucumber and Cat is Water B. Not exactly one of those, but it was nice. So, nice, pleasant. Yeah, so that is Cucumber and Cactus Water. The next one I did was um summer berry i do not have these in order of when i did them some digging um summer berry melon was the next one that i did and i put this on on friday it was like friday evening um after work so it was around six o'clock and on day two this was light so once again, nice fragrance, just kind of light. Um, next up, we have Pink Apple and Nectarine. You guys already know this was the one your girl was just like, I think this is the one that I just love. Oops, trying to open this up. Yeah, this was the one that was giving me the perfumey vibes and all the things. So I was riding hard for this one, y'all. Um, first day... Um, so I put this on and it was light on day two. So once again, you know, nice fragrance, but day two is just light. So there it is. Um, next up we have, uh, Beach Daisy, which you guys know is a returning fragrance. I was also told that, uh, the green one. I believe was a returning fragrance as well, which I did not know. Um, I don't know how I missed it, but somebody told me in the comments that was also a returning fragrance, which now makes sense because it did last longer than the rest of them. So it does have some staying power. Back to Beach Daisy. Um, this one uh, was also, I put this on on Saturday it was nice. I mean, Beach Daisy isn't really known for its, like, massive performance or anything. Nice, pleasant scent. I mean, it smells like what it is. So, I have no complaints um, for the most part. I automatically knew this one wasn't going to, like, blow me away or anything. It's just one of those. It's It sits in the background. It smells good. Non-offensive. You know, most people love it. So, yeah. And the last one I did was Orchard by the Sea. And I put this one on Sunday and it was also um, light on day two. So I'm trying to see. I wrote something. This page has a design on it on the bottom and I wrote something in the design. And now, of course, I can't read what I wrote. Ah, it's the word very. That's what it is. I had to like really look at it. So it was very light on day two. I had high hopes for this one as well. But 
For the most part, the spring bricks. Like them, day one, fabulous. Day two, meh. Um, for me personally, none of these are um, club worthy for me because at this point, I'm trying to scale the club down as much as possible and you really got to like blow somebody's toupee off their head and singe nose hairs and like make me weep at the at the smell of you for it to go in the Scentsy Club. For me, these um, bricks are all fabulous fragrances. If you just want to put something on, they're all very non-offensive, crowd-pleasing, middle-of-the-road um, scents. And day two, it's still going to be there, but it's going to be light. So if you want to leave it on on day two, just have a little bit of a scent lingering. You know, that's fine. But for me, they just weren't strong enough for me to put in my club. So let me know your thoughts on the bricks below. Okay, guys, let me hip you to my latest discovery. Like I said, I have been living under about a thousand rocks and I've seen these before. Your girl finally was like, I am tired of buying 10,000 cotton balls, especially with me really doing my nails a lot now. Um, going through cotton balls for that. So this is my discovery. Bam! So these are these little shells that you put in your warmer. It does not seem like it should work, but it does. So you just take your wax, however many cubes you want, stick them in here, and then you stick this inside of your warmer. And it actually warm, warms the wax just the same as if you just stuck it in the warmer without this being in it. These work fabulous. I got these off of Amazon, I believe. This is a pack of 100. They are reusable. Um, let me see if I can find one that still has something in it. Okay, so I'm showing you what the wax looks like when you take it out. So this is what it looks like. So you can just take these off. So the wax will be in here, it'll be liquid. You can just go ahead, remove this from your warmer, set it aside somewhere. Because my dumb behind was going around and just cutting all the warmers off, waiting for the wax to solidify. And then you just pop it out. Once it gets hard like this, then you just do like this. And then the wax just pops out like that. I just discovered that I could just literally take this off with the wax still solidified in it without turning the warmer off. Take this off and set it aside somewhere and let it cool on its own like that. And then once the wax is solidified, just bend it to pop it out. And that's it without going back around and turning off warmers, turning on warmers. Because it sounds like it shouldn't be a lot, but if you got a lot of warmers, it turns into a pain in the butt. So I know some of y'all are going to be looking like, girl, you are so freaking late. I am late, but you know what? It is what it is. So my question to the wax community is, do these come in many sizes that will fit the little mini warmers? Because I need to get some for that too. I am just personally tired of paying for cotton cleanups and you guys know I was getting them in my Scentsy Club as my last, my last price, high, high price, half priced item. And also, you know, when I would close a party, I'd usually, you know, get some, but I want to start using that half priced item for something else. So... I discovered these and was like, let me try them. And you can use them over and over and over again. The only time I will throw these out is like when it starts to get really cruddy around the edges, then I'll go ahead and like pop another one in. But these are absolutely fabulous. So like I said, let me know if there are some for the mini warmers. I tried to um, Google it on Amazon and you know how you think that that's what it's for, but you're not sure. And I just don't want to buy the wrong thing. So let me know below. Um, give me your thoughts on these. Have you guys been using these? What are your thoughts? They come in different colors. I just got white because, you know, some people say that they don't like these because they throw off the aesthetics of 
the warmer because you do have this like the top part kind of sticking out of your warmer i don't care it is what it is so that's it guys let me know your thoughts on everything i've gone over in the video i do plan on doing another um get to know your consultant video since you guys said you like knowing all the strange and weird things that make me me so i have another one of those coming i will probably do it this week while i'm off and sitting around the house and not doing a doggone thing so thanks so much for watching i will see you in the next video